Perfect Fit Closets, how to create drawing layouts. I have my 2020 design open. I have a closet in here. I already have um, some perspective views saved on my desktop. I have all my elevations, my line to line annotations, my notes. So these drawings are final. I have my plan view clean with all the measurements and notes as I wanted to uh, present to my customer. So I will proceed to uh, create a drawing layout. So underneath the presentation tab, I have here show drawing layout that displays layouts that can contain renderings, item images, list of items and their prices, text, lines and notes, etc. You can just do it here or also right click on the blank space of your screen and go to show drawing layout. So it will open your templates. You will have different options here. Template one, if you start scrolling and selecting template two with just two um, divided in the middle, horizontally, vertically. So you have different options there depending on what are you trying and how do you want to present your um, project. So for my first one, because I'm planning to add a cover in here, I'll just choose this one. So drawing one, I will then right click and create a new tab. And for this one, um, I'll do, I'll I know I have four elevations, so I'll do two per page. So this will be okay. Then my create new tab, I'll do the same one for my other two. Then right click, create new tab. I want um, like a full page for my plan view, or actually I'll do another of this because I will do my plan view and a 3D image with the plan. Then I think I have yeah, like two elevations, two perspective views. I want that in there. I'll click on OK. And then the last one, I'm thinking um, maybe, actually, maybe one, two. And I think this will work better for me because I have two um that are vertical so let's just leave it at uh, this this is just an example so here if i want to rename my tab name i will here write in here cover click on ok then the next one will be i said my elevation one and two if I want to copy the same test, I will just select it and come here, drawing three, elevation three and four, click on OK. Then this one will be plan view, or let's say floor plan, floor plan and three, sorry, and 3D. Click on OK. And then do the same thing here. 3D, OK. And 3D, 1, and click on OK. So I already have um, in my desktop all my perspectives, all my um, views. So for example, I have this. I If I right click, I can select a floor plan for my floor plans and elevations uh, from a name view, load an image, paste from the clipboard. So I will just proceed to load an image that I have on my desktop. So I you know it's in this file, users, my desktop, and it's called um, logo template. So yeah, this is what I want. Click on OK, and I'm able to Move the image if I want it lower. 
or higher or in the center, but just manually move it around. And just click. If I want to add outline to the image, like a frame, I can also do that. Right click, move the image again, just to move it a little more to the left. I'll just try and move it again a little bit to this side or just don't do the frame, I will just remove it. Then on my next one, my elevation, I will right click and select from my floor plans and elevations. So I will select my view and I want specifically my elevation one in that one. I will right click on the next one, floor plans, elevations. So my elevation two. In this one, click on OK. And then in my elevation three and four, do the same thing for plans. This is directly from 2020 design. And then my last elevation that will be elevation four, click on OK. So then the floor plan and 3D, I I have, um, I can again load the image. In this case, is in my desktop. And I'm planning, actually in here, I will just load another, like the floor plan. So I'll have to select this one that says all and click on okay. And then in here is where I have two options. I can just load the image from there, or if I already have it saved from, um, let's say, let me show you just to, for example, if I want my floor plan, I can just have it previously saved, or if I want just to, take it right away from there because you didn't save it before. I'll just enable my clip in. It was selected before. Just click in here. Okay, then using my pan tool, just move it around. I will, it's a little slow, but I'll just Select my image there, zoom out a little bit, move here and there. So I can click in here, plan, view, and click on save view. So that image is safe. It's a little crooked, but it's what it is. It's just an example. And then go back to my design layout. And I can just load an image again that I have one in my desktop or right click from name views and find that image that you save. Plan view, click on OK. Just give it a few seconds there to load the image. And there you go. You can do it that way too. And let's say do the, the other method that is load images, go to my desktop. And I believe is PFC closet 1A, click on okay. Let's see what else do I have? Yeah, and then if I want to use, for example, face from clipboard, I can go to my desktop where I have that image that I want to load in there. Click on copy. And then when I right click in here and uh, I believe it disappeared, right? Load image. 
and there was an option that it says um, like from the clipboard or something, <laughs> but like paste from clipboard. So if you have something in there um, previously saved in your clipboard, it will show in here. If not, just go back and load an image. Users, Jennifer, desktop. And I believe that image will be PFC Closet 2. Yes, that's okay. Again, you can click in that image, move it around if you want it to be higher or not. And you can also, actually, I will just um, delete this. So I can select that and I will create my own uh, frame. So I'll just do this just as an example and add that in here. And I want those to be outlined and I want to save this template for the future. So I can just click in save user template, give it a name in there, test or however you want to name it. I already have another test, but it's okay. And then if you want to create a new tab using your previously safe um, layout template, you can just find that there and click on OK. If you think you have one that you don't need, you can just right click delete current tab. And I will proceed just to load my next image. Uh, done, desktop, and I guess I will select my number, this one that is a copy, click on OK. I can also move it around. And for example, this, I can modify it after and move it and just save it again if I have to. Also, if you want to overlap one with another one, so image and sorry, this <laughs> takes forever to find. Um, so let's see what I have in here. This one is the other picture in here and you want to present two pictures overlapping and more. Again, you can just move, move this or move the image and you want it right there. Maybe it's better if I don't outline anything. So it shows like that, or you can restore, you want to restore the original image file. So fit the image again. So you have all those options and then you can proceed to print. And for example, I want all my views, but just to make sure I will select uh, exactly what I want, all of them and print them to PDF. So I can create uh, using my PDF joiner another, uh, put them together, right? So I will say, Save this as layout one, click on save. Then this will be for the, the second page. So I have one, two, three, four, five, or six. Um, the bad thing, the only bad thing for this option is that you can just print all the pages all together. So as I said, you will have to put them together manually after you save them all one by one. Just I'm thinking, let me just wait. 
Hopefully the program won't crash. Let's just give it a few seconds in there. I'll just make a pause while it loads. So I have all my images, all my design layouts saved, and I have them in my desktop. I'll open all of them. Okay, so this is my first one. The resolution wasn't too good, but it's just an example. Just make sure it works. Then I have my second one where I add my two elevations in there. The other two, my plan view. That's my floor plan and my 3D. And that last one, if you want to create some sort of presentation and add more, um, you can also do that. So what I will do here is just use my PDF joiner. So this one, pdfjoiner.com, and just add all my layouts in there. Join them with anything else that I have my quote, whatever other document that I have, and then join the files. And that way you can have a document with all your design layouts all together. If you don't want to use your logo, there's another video that shows how to put that logo back with the 2020 um, logo. And that's all for our design layout, how to create a design layout. If you have any questions, please contact us at support.perfectfitcanada.com. Thank you.